Hello everyone, how to solve square root 3i? So first of all I can say it will be square root 2 over 2 times 3i. Then I can say it will be square root 3 over 2 times 2i. Then I just move on 3 and 2. Then it will be square root 3 over square root 2 times square root 2i then I can say it will be square root 3 over square root 2 times square root 2i it will be 1 plus 2i minus 1 here is 1 1 minus 1 it will be 0 and again we we'll find out here is 2i then it will be square root 3 over square root 2 times square root 1 square plus 2 times 1 times i plus i square look i square it will be minus 1 then i can say here is square root 3 over square root 2 and square root if you think it is a it is b so a square plus 2 a b plus b square it will be a plus b whole square according to this rules i can say it will be 1 plus i bracket power is 2 then here is the square root is cancelled so we will find out plus minus so i can say plus minus square root 3 over square root 2 and it will be 1 plus i this is our final answer now i solve this question's other method our question is square root 3i so let square root 3i is equal to x plus i y then i can say it will be square root 3i is equal to x plus i y i just use both side whole square then i can say square root is cancelled so we'll find out 3i is equal to x square plus 2av plus p square then i can say here is 3 i is equal to x square and i square it will be minus 1 so minus 1 times y square it will be minus y square plus 2 x y i then i can say here is 0 plus 3 i is equal to x square minus y square plus 2 x y i now if I compare the real part and imaginary part this time I can say here is x square minus y square is equal to 0 it is our second equation and our first equation is it is then I can say here is 2xy is equal to 3 then we are need the value of x and y so we know that x square minus y square is equal to 0 now we are find out what is the value of x square plus y square bracket power is 2 we know that it will be x square minus y square whole square plus 4ab so here is a is x square and y is p is y square then i can say here is it will be 0 so 0 is square it will be 0 plus 2xy bracket power is 2 2 square it will be 4 and x square y square then i can say here is x square plus y square bracket power is 2 is equal to 2 x y it will be 3 so i can say it will be 3 square now if i use both side square root then square root is cancelled so we'll find out here is x square plus y square is equal to 3 it is our fourth equation and our second equation is x square minus y square is equal to 0 so i can say here is x square minus y square is equal to 0. now if i add both equations so equation 4 plus equation 2 is equal to x square plus x square it will be 2x square is equal to this is 0 because of that this is minus this is plus and 3 plus 0 it will be 3 then if I divide both side 2, I can see easily it will be x square is equal to 3 over 2. Then if I use both side square root, I can see easily x is equal to plus minus square root 3 over square root 2. 
then I subtract both equation I can say easily x square minus x square it will be 0 and y square minus minus y square it will be 2y square and 3 minus 0 it will be 3 then I can say this to this to cancel and it will be y square is equal to 3 over 2 then I use both side square root then I can see easily here is y is equal to plus minus square root 3 over square root 2 square root 3i is equal to x plus i y so this is our first equation square root 3i is equal to x plus i y then I can say it will be square root 3i is equal to x is plus minus root 2 root 3 over root 2 so root 3 over root 2 and here is plus and this is i and it will be plus minus square root 3 over square root 2 the value of y then I can see easily here is plus minus square root 3 over square root 2 is common so it will be 1 plus i this is our final answer